Hello everybody, in today's video I want to talk how to claim a say testnet NFT and how to be legible uh, for this NFT uh, mint. Uh, so let me actually start with the legibility for this. Uh, so in order to be legible for this uh, testnet NFT, there is no activity needed from your site uh, prior to uh, this specific uh, date. This uh, something you need is 10 plus transactions on the testnet after November 8th and then you are eligible to mint uh, this uh, NFT and uh, I will show you step by step how you could uh, do it and claim it today. Uh, but please uh, be aware that currently it's a lot of uh, traffic in the chain, people are doing this uh, heavily and now it will be some issues uh, with that, it will take much longer than it could uh, do so but we are hoping that they will fix it soon but uh, step by step things are pretty much the same and I want to, to show you the most efficient way I'm doing it. So first thing you need to do is to install your Kepler wallet. Uh, so if you don't have it, you could visit uh, this website. I will put the link in the description below. So you need to click uh, install Kepler Kepler and it's going to be a pretty similar uh, procedure with a seed phrase, uh, your password, account name and uh, once it is done you will have your uh, extension uh, uh, in here and the next step you need to connect uh, say testnet uh, the way I, I am doing, I am connecting uh, my uh, account to this uh, Vortex Protocol.io uh, in here and by connecting to this platform, I will also put the link in the description below, it is uh, automatically uh, shows you say network and it's going to be one of those uh, lists and it's going to be a part of a beta uh, support in the end of this long uh, list so you will be able to find it and uh, once it is done you need ta some uh, say testnet uh, token in your account uh, in order to claim the nft and to make those transactions for the fees so uh, next thing uh, here what you need to, to do is to claim some facet uh, token for this you need to go to their uh, discord uh, channel and i will put the link in the description so it's uh, also written in the main twitter account uh, it is going to be capture uh, in here and uh, once you are part of this uh, say uh, discord you are going to uh, go to this uh, testnet tab and here Atlantic one facet in here and you need to put your account uh, address a wallet address and uh, put the same uh, like this uh, mark facet and then uh, like your account uh, name so uh, follow what people uh, are doing in here and uh, yeah you will be legible but it is only one uh, valid uh, claim but it's going to be enough uh, for making all those uh, 10 transactions if you want to do 10. <laughs> so uh, the next step you need to, to do actually those uh, 10 transactions. Some people are doing it using uh, this website. What I'm doing because we need uh, 10 transactions doesn't matter actually what specific uh, transaction uh, is it. So you need to go to a Kepler wallet and do any transactions you want. So as I uh, <laughs> want to maximize my uh, airdrop, I'm doing it in a couple of uh, accounts. So I have two Cosmos accounts and uh, I'm uh, also registered one more. So it has another um, ID in here with account number. So you could send uh, uh, your uh, and if uh, like uh, say uh, facet tokens from one ac account to another and every like transaction sent is going to be considered as a transaction like every payment so what you need to do is you need to put your account number in here you need to put amount it could be actually any amount even very small one uh, you need to put uh, like fee maximum because for now it seems that uh, like with uh, this network uh, overloaded it will be better to put as maximum and then click save send and then click approve uh, now it says uh, fall to send tokens error because my previous transaction is still uh, in progress because of this uh, heavily 
uh, <laughs> used a network but later on once you do it 10 times it no, like tonight it was <laughs> working very well to be honest um, so the next step you need to go to this uh, website uh, say network.io slash down so this is the website you need to connect your wallet in here and it will be automatically connecting to your Kepler wallet uh, then you need to click check eligibility and uh, yeah so it says like this is 10 transactions uh, should be done on the testnet it says your wallet is not illegal complete the requirements and if your transactions are done only now please make sure you are waiting some minutes more then you could uh, check uh, like this button click uh, check again and then your nft is going to be minted it is also approving the transactions and then you will see this uh, nft mint and yeah it is how uh, it look like and it's like the end of the task but just with this uh, heavily uh, used the uh, chain for now maybe it could be some time to doing it maybe it will, will take uh, much longer maybe they will uh, somehow fix it we will see so uh, it is actually all uh, for this uh, specific testnet and uh, again uh, I have uh, the spreadsheet and I will attach it to this video and it has uh, all the different uh, ecosystem airdrop uh, tutorial I'm doing so you could uh, highly recommend uh, to go through all of them and in this case you will have some um, also <laughs> potential airdrops and it's also part of the playlist uh, with uh, um crypto ecosystem airdrops and here and also last night i did uh, my telegram uh, channel so it's also good to join i will also put the link in the description below in this channel i will cover some uh, like time sensitive uh, airdrops some other things uh, which i'm like not uh, going to record because it's like next day it's going to be the end of the uh, airdrop and it doesn't make any sense to make the video for some specific tasks so uh yeah it is all i wanted to share with you guys today thanks a lot for watching have a good day bye bye